afternoon. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and also on SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Thursday, the 12th of January. It's 30 degrees here in the square at noon <coughs> and uh, we're expecting it to be partly cloudy day today and it really seems like more than partly cloudy, and it's uh, going to be 32 for a high if it actually gets there. And tonight will be 17 for a low. And then tomorrow will be a really, really bad day. Uh, it's going to be cloudy. There's some chance that there will be some freezing rain. Uh, it'll be 27 for the high temperature and then 20 for the low, so not much difference. And then, although it's going to get warmer on Saturday, that's just going to cause all of the rain that we're going to get to be freezing rain. And uh, I think it would be better for us if it were just a few degrees colder and we had snow instead of freezing rain. But that's what the weather forecasts are, that we'll have freezing rain tomorrow. 31 will be the high temperature, and uh, 23 the low temperature with a 60% chance of uh, freezing rain. Uh, and the traffic and the accumulation of ice is expected to be extraordinarily bad. And then uh, Sunday, uh, it continues through the whole day Sunday, freezing rain, uh, 34 the high temperature and 28 the low. And then even on Monday, uh, there's supposed to be uh, a bad problem with ice rain and that turns to ice and an accumulation of ice on trees and the roads and things like that. Uh, so Monday uh, will be uh, 38 the high and 24 for the low, a 50% chance of rain and most of it is freezing rain in the morning or even before morning. Then finally Tuesday will be partly cloudy and practically a normal day for this time of year, 42 the high, 26 the low. So we're looking at it, and I know sometimes the weather forecasters tend to exaggerate things because uh, I think they, they like to have uh, interesting things to report, and these storms certainly are getting a lot of invitation. In, in, well, anyway. Uh, so hopefully it won't be as bad as the predictions, but you've got to take care over the weekend uh, to make sure, especially if you're a senior citizen, make sure uh, that you check the weather before you decide to go anywhere or do things outside. Well, we have just a, a birthday and an anniversary. Happy birthday to the, today to Dean Thrasher. And happy anniversary to Greg and Linda Fisher uh, tomorrow. And those are the only ones we have until uh, next week, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, uh, just uh, some things to say. Uh, first of all, because uh, seniors don't do really well on the ice, uh, we're going to be closed on uh, Monday at the Shepherd Center because we're the threat of ice and even if it stops making ice there'll probably be leftover ice from Saturday and Sunday uh, that will not melt and uh, will be hard to take care of. So Shepherd Center folks uh, will be closed and if it turns out to be better than that well it's Martin Luther King Day anyway and it's a holiday we usually uh, uh, don't celebrate Martin Luther King Day as a protest that people don't celebrate Veterans Day anymore. And uh, we will celebrate Veterans Day when other people don't. Anyway, uh, the, uh, so we will be closed uh, Monday at Shepherd's Center. 
Now, uh, there are a couple of things going on, and we're not really exactly sure how it's going, but the city is uh, working hard to try to get a grocery store in town, and uh, it's taking a long time, but it's not an easy thing to uh, build a grocery store. So I would say it's a good thing since we at Shepherd Center are a Christian organization. We hope that the people in the town will pray for a grocery store. And uh, we can pray that God will give them good weather when they have to build it. Then also the county and uh, the county hospital uh, is uh, having trouble with their organization and the service and their finances. And uh, so that's something else. Uh, even though many people in St. John are jealous of the fact that Stafford has the hospital, it's a part of Stafford County. Uh, it provides employment for a lot of people at good jobs in our county. And uh, so it shouldn't be something that we would dismiss easily uh, because it does more for the county than just be a hospital. It, it does things in terms of employment and uh, things in terms of taxes and that sort of thing. So I would say we should uh, pray for that as, as well. Now we go to the uh, more serious things. And we want you to notice that in the paper, St. John News, there's an article about our fellow seniors at the Sunflowers. And they are starting a program, Come Walk With Me, and they have beautiful weather to have this be something in the news that's coming up because it's going to be awful weather. And uh, their idea is that it's a good thing for people to walk, particularly any of us with pacemakers and things like that, but uh, seniors in general, it's one of the best things you can do to stay healthy. And they're having a program called Come Walk With Me, and it's uh, 1.30 to 2 uh, in the afternoons. And uh, so if you could do that, it's a great thing to think about. And if you do plan to do a lot of walking and you're a senior, and it's icy outside, or it's uh, snowy or rainy, uh, don't walk outside. Go and walk with the folks at the Sunflowers, and you'll meet some of your senior friends. But I'm not sure that it's just for seniors. I think anybody should go and walk. Uh, and of course, I should do that too, and I don't walk hardly enough. Uh, and uh, so I feel guilty. But I think that's a great program, and it's a good thing, and uh, I hope that people will actually go there and do it, because I would hate for them to close a good thing like that, because nobody shows up. So you have a duty to show up and try walking at least once in the next week or two, if you're a senior particularly. Well, uh, Thursday, January 19th, the, and I'm sure if the weather is okay, uh, they're going back to the family food store in Sawyer, Kansas with the Recreation Commission, and they're going to leave at 1045, and I know your friends have already talked to you about the good time they had there the last time they went to Sawyer, and they have this family food store in Sawyer, with a bakery and bulk foods and groceries and homemade foods and a family atmosphere. And there it is out there in Sawyer with not much else around it but a, a mill, like, not a mill, but a uh, elevator. So uh, it'd be a shame to miss a good thing like that that happens right near us in, in the middle of nowhere if I'm not being mad, I mean to say Sawyer is nowhere, but we kind of feel like people feel we're nowhere in the country. And so that would be a good trip to go to. <clears throat> then we still haven't heard from the Recreation Commission 
where they're going to go and what the movie is going to be and uh, what. And uh, but they're planning to do it on Saturday, January 28th. And a lot of things are going to happen between now and then. So as soon as we find out where they're going to go and what the movie is going to be, uh, we'll be telling you about that and uh, we will, I'm sure, put something on the community bulletin board uh, on uh, Channel 3 as well to let you know. Because that movie night is a neat thing. All right, well, now we have our menu of the fellowship meals here in uh, St. John with the sunflowers. And today they're having pork chop and they're having uh, mushroom and gravy, boiled potatoes and parceled carrots. So it's a must-see thing. And tomorrow, if you're not frozen, they're having roast turkey, turkey gravy, sweet potato, and a roll. And that's another good thing to have on a cold day would be turkey and potatoes and gravy. And then on Monday, if they get to be open and it's not dangerous, they have a Swiss steak, mashed potatoes, and brown gravy. And on Tuesday, baked fish and macaroni and cheese. And on uh, Wednesday, chicken supreme and lionized rice. Well, that's some of the announcements and, uh, today for our uh, word of the day. We have a good advice for all our newspaper and television uh, reporters and people in public office. We have good advice for them. Think twice before you speak, especially if you're going to say what you really think. This is Jim Lakey saying have a great day, but stay warm.